The designated vis uh, little, uh, home team, the Lady Beavers, who are coached by Jonathan Marshall, Kayleen Washburn, and Brittany Hoyle. They're going to start uh, five seniors. Number 10, Tavy Gale, who averages nine points a game. Number 14, Britland Carter, who averages 10 points a game. Number 21, uh, Sydney Jillens, who averages 11.4 points per game. Taylin Brown, number 12, who averages 3.7 points per game. And Nixon Davis, number 40, who averages 6.4 points per game. So here we go. And the Beavers coached by Coach John Marshall. And uh, this is an exciting atmosphere. And there's a correction. Correction for the Enterprise Lady Wolves. Ellie Shirtliff is going to be starting. Uh, that's number 25 for Enterprise. So our mistake on that, but it will, it will be Ellie Shirtliff who does start for the Enterprise Wolves. So here we go, the second semifinals. <laughs> the first ticket is already punched. It'll be the Kanab Lady Cowboys. And who will join them in the championship game as we get going? And you can see the starting lineups being called for the Beavers. And there's number 10, Tavy Gale, the Pink Panther. That's the state leader in steals in all classifications. And you've already called those. So let's talk about some of the plays of the game. We're gonna have a Mike's Food Town player of the game, uh, your hometown grocer, Mike's Food Town and Beaver, also a sub of the game sponsored by the Timberline Inn. And then the Coldwell Banker key play of the game, Coldwell Banker, Advantage Realty, 435, 438, 77, 77. And so here we go, a lot of excitement. Both teams seem pretty excited about this and then I am ready to get this going. Yeah, I think a lot of people are. And like you mentioned, it's going to be a Region 18 showdown in the championship game. Is it going to be, and Kanab was the number two seed out of Region 18. Who will join them? The number three seed out of Region 18 or the number one seed? We'll know in about 90 minutes. And the, these teams have battled it out all season long. The Beavers, the Wolves, the Cowboys, and throw in the Eagles as well. I mean, all of them. They do. They all, they all were great. So here we go. And here comes the tip off of tonight's game sponsored by South Creek Shell, South Interchange in Beaver. Welcome Wolf fans and Beaver fans to the D event center. Tip is up and is won by the Wolves. Kendi Christensen with the ball for Enterprise. Christensen will drive in, kick back to shirt lift and then Tavy Gale with a steal to start the game. Brown on the left side, Brown underneath to Jillens. Jillens goes up and scores the bucket. Well, that was a great move play by four good players. You know, Gale with the tip, Brown picks it up, gets a dish off to Jillens. Two quick points for the Beavers. Christensen looking for Shirtliff, can't find her. She's covered by Gale. Shirtliff will stop at the free throw line, jump, stop, and score. That was a great shot by Shirtliff. Gale contested it, but she just shot over the top of her and tied up. Ellie Shirtliff deadly from the free throw line. On the right side, it's Gale. Zone defense by the Wolves over to Jillens. Jones will step back over to Carter, back over to Gale. And the Beavers will probe the defense, kick it over to Gale. Gale thinks about three-point shot, doesn't take it, will dribble out to Carter. Back over to Jillens. Just underway here at the D Event Center. Seven minutes left in the first. It's, we're all tied at two. On the right side is Gale. Gale step in on the baseline to Davis. Davis drives in, and she'll be go up. And the foul called on the backside. Davis goes to the line shooting two. That's going to be called on number 15, Shirtlet, uh, Shelby Farnsworth, excuse me. And uh, Nixon Davis will head to the free throw line. First free throws of the game. And that is the Beaver Valley Chevron free throw line for Davis. And she knocks it down. The Beavers lead by one again. And she's got another free throw coming. Second free throws up and good as well. So the Beavers lead by two. Four to two. 6.53, your Beaver Medical Clinic score update. Here's Kenny Christensen with the ball. Looking for Sophie Shirtliff covered by Brown. Brown will cut off Shirtliff. Shirtliff finds Ellie Shirtliff on the baseline to Farnsworth. Farnsworth puts in to Staley, backside to Sophie Shirtliff. Missed shot. It's gonna go to Taylin Brown on the board. Great execution. They just weren't able to make the bucket fall. Here's Carter on the right wing back to Gale. Gale covered tightly by Shirtlift to Brown. Zone defense, 2-3 zone. Here's Carter on the right wing, back to Gale. Gale inside to Jillens, back to Carter. Here's a three-point shot coming, short. Gonna be rebounded by Brown, though. Brown goes up, no good. Rebound to Tavy Gale. Jillens at the free throw line, shot up, no good. There's Gale with the rebound, back up, and no good. 
and it's out off of Enterprise. So the Beavers missed some point blank opportunities. Wow, like at least three, maybe four offensive rebounds and weren't able to get it score, get it to fall, get the, re, uh, the ball under their own basket. Statman Dave says three offensive rebounds on that one. Here's Gale, top of the key, over to Carter. Carter back to Gale, over to Brown. Brown on the baseline to Jones. Jones drives in, will go up from eight, shot tough. No good, rebound gonna go to Robinson. Robinson throws the ball ahead to Shirtliff a little bit too high, goes out of bounds, turnover to the Beavers. You can see Enterprise is pushing the ball up before very quickly, uh, catching the Beavers unaware. You can hear Coach Marshall yelling at them, get down the floor, and fortunately for the Beavers, they throw it out of bounds. Christian and Carter, back to Gale, back to Carter. 531 left in the first, four, two Beavers. Your DFA Cash Valley Cheese scoreboard. Defense and name of the game here. It's almost like a 1-1-3. One, one, Jones comes in, cut off by Robinson, pot, pivot, steps off. Sophie Shirtliff knocks it out of bounds. Good defense by, by Enterprise. That zone is very aggressive on the outside perimeter and underneath as well. 4-2, to two, Beaver with the two-point lead. Here's Gale with the ball. Gets it to Davis. Davis gets the ball. Out, knocked down to Carter, but she'll pick it back up. And she's got Ellie Shirtliff on her. And Shirtliff with a steal. And it's going to stay with the Beavers. But good job by Shirtliff with the good hands. Shirtliff plays with so much intensity from the time she's on the floor until the end of the game. She is just a phenomenal player. Here's Jones with the ball to Carter. Five minutes left in the first quarter of play. Here's Jones on the baseline. Will drive. Picked up by Gale. Gale goes on the baseline. Back underneath to Davis. Davis? Ooh, Davis should have turned around and shot that. Back to Brown. Brown on the baseline to Jillens. Jillens for three outside, no good. Rebound to Davis. Davis just grabs it, puts it back up and in. Well, the Lady Beavers, they they're got a little bit of butterfingers going on. All their passes and their ball hangs just a little sloppy. They need to correct that going forward. They do lead by four, six to two, 434 left in the first. Sophie Shirtliff looking for Ellie, covered by Gale. Gale will follow Shirtliff over to Sophie. Sophie goes in, back to Ellie. Three-pointer coming, shot up and in. She knocks it down. Five points for Ellie Shirtliff. All five points of the game to the senior. Here comes Carter. So Wolves down one. Gale with it, back to Carter. And Kitty Christensen on that side, over to Jillens. Jillens covered by Shirtliff, over to Gale. Gale cross-court pass to Jillens. Jillens takes a shot from 16. She knocks it down. Ah, that's Jillens' sweet spot right there on the left side, 10, 15 feet out, money all day long. There's Robinson with it. Over to Shirtliff, that's Sophie. Looking inside to Ellie, has her on the baseline. She's covered by Gale. Ellie cross-court pass, gonna be knocked down by two Wolves. But Ronnie Robinson able to get it. Free throw line jumper up and in. Boy, that degree of beautifully was tough after the fumbled pass. It is. Enterprises, they're doing what they need to do. They're scoring on their possessions. 8-7. Beavers by one. Back to Carter. Straight away. Right side to Gale. Gale will dribble in. Inside to Brown. Now it's going to be taken away by the Lady Wolves. So they have a chance to go ahead. 3-12 left in the first. Beavers eight. Wolves seven. Here's Christensen covered by Carter. Hard on the left side to Shirtliff, covered by Brown. Sophie will drive in, hand off to Sister Ellie. Ellie back up top to Ronnie Robinson, drives over. She'll get it to Sophie. Sophie drives on the baseline. And there's going to be a block shot by Taylin Brown and a rebound to Britland Carter, and she'll come out of the pack. Carter over to Gale. Gale takes a three-point jumper. That one's up, no good. Rebound going to be taken by Jillens. Her shot back up, no good. And then almost... Ronnie Robinson with the rebound. 8-7. Beavers on top, but Enterprise with the ball on the attack. 2.27 left in the first. Here's Ellie Shirtliff covered by Gale. Gale will wait. Shirtliff with the ball, and that is a five-second five call as Ellie Shirtliff held the ball too long. Tavy Gales staying close. And Shirtliff saying, you know, saying, yep, I understand. That yeah. was all me. I mean, yeah, she said, she, was, yep. she said, my bad. My bad. She's like, yep, that's my bad on me. Two substitutions coming in the game right here. Brooklyn Crumb and uh, Braley Robinson checking in for Brown and Davis. So the 214 mark, the Beavers eight and the Wolves seven. Here's the Gale, drives on the baseline, kicks back out. 
Staley with the defense on that wing. Staley taking the place of Sophie Shirtlift. Drives on the baseline. Will be Crum out to Carter, 4-3. Shot no good. Rebound going to be Crum, though. She goes up. She's hit as she shot, but no call. As uh, she was shooting, her legs went out from underneath her. She did. The Lady Beavers cannot buy a basket. Here's Christensen covered by Carter. Kindy underneath, going to be knocked away, stolen by Carter, and picked up, pushed back. Here's Carter on the run. Three on one break, underneath to Jillens. Jillens waits and scores. Beautiful pass from Jill, excuse me, from Carter to Jillens, and that is Jillens' sixth point of the quarter. She's got six of Beavers' ten points. Christensen with the ball. It's the Beavers by three with a minute 15 left in the first. Christian will take the screen from Shirtliff. Back over to Staley. Staley back over to Shirtliff. Ellie drives. Kicks back, and here's Staley. Shot is up and no good. Rebound to Tavy Gale. Gale will bring it up. Behind her will kick. Here's Crum. Crum takes a three-point jumper. That one's up and in. Two-pointer for oh. Brooklyn Crum. Just inside the three-point line. Crum makes her presence known quickly. Extends the lead to five. 45 seconds left. Ronnie Robinson with the ball. Robinson straight away. On the left side to Ellie Shirtliff. Shirtliff covered by Gale, pivots and takes the splits. A guy would have screamed. She did a great <laughs> job. And here's Shirtliff covered again by Gale. 30 seconds left in the quarter. Shelly, Ellie Shirtliff will drive, kick over. Here's Ronnie Robinson for three. That one's too long. And it's going to go out of bounds to the Lady Beavers. Oh no, that one's gonna stay. Just good hustle. That's one of the things the players do. They want, they let the ball go out of bounds. I, I say always go after it. And, and I see all the teams do it. And you saw Carter going for the ball. Jillen's read that. She was down here all by herself. Had Carter managed to get that, yeah. I think that you would have seen an easy bucket for Jillen's. So instead of the Beavers having the ball, now the Enterprise Wolves on the attack. Here's Staley with it. She's covered by Crum. Cross is over. We'll kick underneath to stay. Christensen, great job. Just a baseline, baseline layup. Here's Carter, down with two seconds. She'll take a long three-point jumper. That one will be short. That's the way it ends. Beavers with a three-point lead at the end of one. 12-9, we'll be back. Mike's Food Town and Beaver is proud to serve Beaver County with a wide selection of items at competitive prices. Mike's Food Town is your friendly hometown grocer and offers top quality custom meat, fresh produce, and local dairy products. The bakery and deli offer fresh baked goods, custom cut deli meats, and more. New in 2018, you can shop online and have your groceries delivered to your home. Check out mikesftn.com for more details. That's mikesftn.com. Try it out. Mike's is proud to support Beaver High School athletic and academic programs. Our team works hard to shape the quality of life wherever we live and work. These values allow our team to be the go-to source for rural entities. For integrity, honesty, and technical expertise, think of Jones and DeMille Engineering. With offices in Richfield, Roosevelt, Price, and Manti, visit jonesanddemille.com or find them on Facebook. Since 1982, Jones and DeMille Engineering, your infrastructure professionals. Welcome back, semifinal action, the Beaver Beavers 12. The Enterprise Wolves 9, some stats real quick. Um, field goal percentage in favor of the Wolves, 50%. The Beavers, 33%. But it's all Beavers rebounding. Eight rebounds for the Beavers, three for the Wolves. Enterprise will have the ball to start second quarter action. That was your State Farm Insurance stat check. Avery Staley with the ball. Drives on the right side to Ellie Shirtliff, covered by Gale. Back to Robinson. Robinson straight away. Gale gets a hand on the ball. Ellie Shirtliff underneath will go up. No good. Rebound to Tavy Gale. And Gail will bring it, and she's going to be covered by Christensen. And they're going to say back to White. And uh, we'll have to see a replay on that one, see if we can get a good angle. Yeah, off of Christensen, so. That'll be Carter out of the game, replaced by Davis. And Gail moves to the point. 12-9, the Beavers by three, 7.36 left in the first quarter. Here's Gail. Gail right side to Crum. Crum back to Gail. Left side to Robinson. Robinson to Gale. Still 3-2 zone defense. Robinson with it. Back to Gale. Tavy looking inside for Jillens. They'll reset. Man-to-man -man defense. It's kind of a matchup on a couple of different players is what it is. Yeah, it's like if they've got three matched up on the top two in the paint. Matchup zone almost. Uh-huh. 
So Tavy Gale with the ball. 7-13 left in the half, 12-9, your Beaver Medical Clinic score update. Gale on the baseline to, uh, to Jillens, and it's off of Christensen. She'll knock it out of bounds. Christensen playing very well, very aggressive on both ends of the floor. Yeah. And the Lady Beaver team not adjusting particularly well to the zone change. Here's Gale, straight away, over to Crum. Crum will dribble right side, look for Davis, has Gale top of the key. Back over on the left side to Jones. Jones drives in, gets stopped, goes to Gale. Gale drives in the middle, back to Jones. Jones goes baseline, goes up from six, shot up and in. Great setup by Gale and Jones. Stone Cold Sid Jones gets the assist from Gale, extends the lead 2-5. So Christensen, Back in the game, back in the, on her side of the court rather. Staley with it, drives. Beaver defense, man to man. Robinson with it, picked up by Crum on the right side to Shirtlift inside. Here's Robinson, she'll go up quickly. Nice shot, but no good. And Crum gets a lot of contact and she'll get the ball. It'll be Tavy Gale. It's a four on three, four on two break. If the Beavers hurry, go, Tavy Gale goes in, down to Jillens. Jillens from 14. No good. There's Nixon Davis back up and in. Nixon Davis coming up big. Look at it. Davis in the paint. He's just done a phenomenal job all season. Super steady and just does really good to get the basket. Kenny Christensen with the ball. It's Enterprise down seven. Ooh, that one almost went off of Staley. Brooklyn Crum on it. Substitution in the game. Taylin Brown coming in for Braley Robinson. And Enterprise stays firm. So 5.55 left in the first half. 16 for the Beavers, nine for the Wolves. Your DFA Cash Valley Cheese scoreboard. Here's Robinson covered by Gale. Robinson will drive, pivot and spin around. Back over to Shirtlift. Shirtlift knocks down. She gets her own rebound back up and in. No good, but she will be fouled by Davis. You can see that uh, they just took advantage of of the mismatch there for, for Beaver. And this, this will be, I think, the first, no, second free throws of the game. No, first free throws of first the game. First free throws of the game. First time to the line. The Beavers have shot two. The Enterprise Wolves, first one by Sophie Shirtliff is up and good. Takes, Takes a nice shooter's <laughs> bounce. Exactly. <laughs> Landed, Jinx. Yeah. Now I can't say anything, right? You owe me a soda. Okay. Uh, Gail out of the game. Carter in the game. Shirtliff out of the game. I don't know who checked in for her. I will figure it out. There's a shot up, and good. So Sophie makes both free throws, a sophomore. Daughter of Larry B. Shirtliff, great friend. <coughs> Carter left side to Jillens, Jillens top of the key to Carter. On the right side to Crum, Crum puts in into Jillens, back to Carter. Carter shot from the front of the wing and she knocks it down a two pointer for Brooklyn, Britlin Carter. Her toe was just barely over that three point line. Pretty shot by the senior. Lead back to seven. Staley with the ball over to Robinson. Robinson covered by Jillens. Jillens with a quick feet, right side to Staley. Taylor cross court pass to Shirtliff. Shirtliff drives in, and they're going to call a travel. Good call. And uh, just the pass kind of closed off on, on Sophie Shirtliff. It did. Hey, and Taylor Brown, she's done a really good job guarding Shirtliff this game as she's dri driven in. She hasn't allowed a lot of body contact. Just really good, solid defense. Carter with the ball on the left side to Jillens. Jillens' three-point shot is up, and she knocks it down. Sydney Jillens is on fire with that shot. She has 11 points to extend the Beaver lead to 10. Biggest lead of the game. Here's Christensen. She goes from eight, shot short, no good. Rebound to Brooklyn Crum, and she puts it down on the ground, and that's kind of the cardinal rule of rebounding. Don't put it down quick. Don't dribble it, and don't put it in the bread basket. You get it in triple threat position. You look for your outlet and get it out of the paint. All right, here's Taylin Brown with the ball. It's the Beavers with a 10-point lead and 4.44 left in the first half. It's 21-11. Gale will check back in at the next dead ball. Here's Jillens. Top of the key over to Carter. Carter open. Shot going to go up. She's going to shoot three free throws. That is huge. That is huge as, as uh, she was not, or, excuse me, fouled by, I believe, Shelby Farnsworth, yeah. 15. And uh, that's always a you never want to foul somebody on a three, but Carter will have a, a chance here to uh, get three points. So here's Carter's first free throw. Free throws up and good. <coughs> Lead goes to 11, 22 to 11. Ellie Shirtliff for Enterprise and Gell set to check in after this free throw. Carter's second free throws up and good as well. Pushes the lead to 12, 23 to 11. Jones will take a well-deserved rest. Jones with the 11 points. And now Carter with another free throw. 
Britlin on the line. Shot is up and looks good, is good. Hey, so Carter with five points. Ice in her veins, you know, she just steps up there calmly, knocks down three free throws. 13 point lead for the Lady Beavers, 428 left in the first half. Here's Shirtliff, Ellie. Kicks back to Robinson, Robinson covered by Gale, shot up, no good, but Robinson gets her own rebound. She goes back up again, no good again. And Taylin Brown with a strong rebound. And the uh, Schooner Prize Wolves a little, little cold. Here's Carter on the right side to Gale. Gale will dribble back, covered by Shirtliff. Step back out to Carter. Carter left side to Crum. To Carter straight away to Gale. Looking inside, Gale drive baseline. Inside to Davis. Davis, great hands. How did she catch that pass? That pass was not the greatest pass, but Nixon Davis snags it and goes in. The lead goes to 15. Wow, she, she prevented a turnover there. Nixon Davis, what a great pass and finish wow. by the senior. Yeah, Fish Lake Lumber timeout for the Lady Wolves. 26-11 when we come back. Our team works hard to shape the quality of life wherever we live and work. These values allow our team to be the go-to source for rural entities. For integrity, honesty, and technical expertise, think of Jones and DeMille Engineering. With offices in Richfield, Roosevelt, Price, and Manti, visit jonesanddemille.com or find them on Facebook. Since 1982, Jones and DeMille Engineering, your infrastructure professionals. Service is important on any insurance policy, whether it's auto, home, life, or health insurance. And you can count on your Beaver Area Good Neighbor State Farm agent, Brent Stapley, to give you the best service possible. Whether you have a claim or just need information about insurance, your State Farm agent is there with the Good Neighbor service we're famous for. See State Farm agent Brent Stapley in Beaver for all your insurance needs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call 438-5451, 438-5451. Welcome back after Fish Lake Lumber. Drive a little save a lot timeout by Coach Lance Jones. He wants to rally the troops. It's the Beavers on a big run, and they lead by 15, 26 to 11, with 340 left in the first half. Enterprise would like to finish this half on a big run. Shirtliff back to Sophie Shirtliff. She'll drive in. Step back. Shirtliff drives. Kick inside, stolen by Britlin Crum. Brooklyn. Brooklyn, sorry. And a foul to Ellie Shirtliff. A little frustration there for Ellie. Definitely frustration foul. As Ellie gives it her all. I've already mentioned this. Both ends of the floor and just caused a turnover. Oh, never trying never to stops. Get it. No, she, she's, she is, she's just one of those players that guts it out. Game time, beginning to end. Crum to Carter. 325 left. Still in the zone. Defense. Here's Crum. Crum from the side. No good. Rebound going to go to Kendi Christensen. And Christensen almost knocked down by Gale and goes to Robinson. Robinson with the ball on the right side to Christensen. Jillen set to check back in. Christensen checks the back door for Robinson. They can't find it, it's Gale. Ellie will go in and then there's a, oh, they're gonna call a foul and that's trouble as that's two fouls on Nixon Davis. That is a bad break. That is not good. Three minutes left to go in the half and she's just been solid in the paint. Br Braley Robinson will check in for her. Sid Jillens check in for Brooklyn Crum. That's the only fouls in the game. They're both on Nixon Davis, and she won't play in the rest of the half. Here comes Kendi Christensen underneath to Robinson. The ball's loose on the floor, and now it's going to be a jump ball, and it's going to stay with the Enterprise Wolves. Uh, the Beavers caught a lucky break there. Is that she would have been wide open on a no, layup. It was a, it was a low, low ball. So 2.58 left. It'll be inbounds. Or Christensen up for Robinson from eight. Shot is up and in. Ronnie Robinson. And that was a 14 to two run that just stopped by Ronnie Robinson. Here's Carter. Covered by Ellie. Ellie Shirtlift. Now be Jillens. Jillens outside the wing, back to Carter. 26-13, 13 point lead for the Beavers. Gell with it to Brown. Brown over to Jillens. Jillens takes another jumper. That one's up, no good. And there's a foul to Tavy Gell, I'm guessing. I think you're correct. She went up and uh, collided with uh, Sophie Shirtliff. Now Gail's going to have to be a little careful. Nice hustle rebounding foul and good hustle for so Sophie Shirtliff as well. Christensen with the ball. Enterprise on a mini run of their own. Christensen goes in. Ball's loose on the floor. Jillens is going to grab it and it's going to go to the Lady Beavers. Britlin Carter got her hand on it and then there was Jillens on the floor to tie it up and you're going to see a full court press coming on by Enterprise. Here comes the press. The Lady Beavers immediately move into the press breaker. That's Carter with the ball. 
Carter, and uh, oh, a lot of contact, no call. Christensen with it after the steal. And then Shirtlift loses the ball, picked up by Gale. And a timeout by Coach John Marshall. And Ellie comes up a little bit hurt as uh, she stretched that quad pretty hard. I hope she's okay. Um, looks like she's moving okay. So timeout on the floor. It's a Fish Lake Lumber timeout. We'll take it as well. When you're in the mood for mouth-watering dishes prepared by the finest chefs in Utah, visit Timberline Inn in Beaver. For a family dinner outing or for a night out with that special someone, experience fine dining for breakfast, lunch, or dinner at Timberline Inn. Timberline also offers catering services for both small groups or large gatherings, and you can't beat their popular lunch and dinner specials offered daily. Timberline Inn is open 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. and located on the South I-15 Interchange in Beaver. Call for catering 438-2474. Welcome back after the Big Lumber timeout. 2-12 left in the half, 26 for the Beavers, 13 for the Wolves. It's a 13-point lead. Full court press remains. Here's Carter with it. Carter over to Robinson. Robinson will cross the timeline. He'll get it over to Gillens. Gillens from 14 shot. Her shot no good, but there's Carter with the rebound. She'll bring it back out for the Lady Beavers. Here's Robinson on the left wing. She'll drive back to Carter. And Coach John Marshall will call the, the play again. Reminder, we'll have a Coldwell Banker key play of the game coming up in this one. Here's Robinson driving in, and she will be fouled and go to the line. Rayleigh Robinson shoots two. The official was in my way. Who was that on? I can't see. Oh. Robinson. Oh, no, oh, they're no, getting Sophie Shirtliff. First personal foul for Shirtliff. They don't put fouls on the board, so to check myself, I have to listen. Here's Robinson's free throw up and in. I'm going to give a quick shout out to the Pink Panther fan club. Glad to have you along on Local <laughs> 10. And uh, to all of our viewers from Enterprise and Beaver, glad to have you along. There's Robinson's shot is up. That one is good as well. So the Beavers move the lead back to 15, 28 to 13. Here comes Avery Staley, a minute 42 left in the first half. There's Ellie Shirtliff. And Staley with a screen underneath, boy. Sophie Shirtliff, a great job, and then a foul, and she puts it down. Uh, free throw for Sophie Shirtliff. Sophie is a sophomore, and she has played some huge minutes as a starter for the Enterprise Cowboys and gets the or Enterprise Cowboys. Jeez Wolves. Louise, the Enterprise Wolves, and a great, great job there getting the and one. 28-15, a 13-point lead for the Beavers. Shirtliff's free throw up and in. Cuts the lead to 12, 28-16 with a minute 29 left. Carter with it, over to Brown. Boy, they got fortunate there. Back to Jillens. Jillens drives in, kicks back to Robinson. Three-point shot coming. It's up and Braley <laughs> Robinson knocks one down. She has five second quarter points and the lead back to 15. Great shot by Robinson and Robinson. Ronnie wants to answer right back, not able to. And Robinson with a big rebound and then Staley with a foul. It's still on the sideline, but Staley picks up foul number one. You can see the officials over here trying to call the, give the call to the table. Coach Marshall just kept walking in front, in front of, of him. him. <laughs> Sorry, just a comical moment that I was. Uh, so a minute seven left. Anybody in foul trouble for either team? Nixon Davis. Shelby Farnsworth not in the game. Nixon Davis on the bench. And a, and a bunch of players with one. Here's Carter. She breaks the press by herself. Underneath to Brown. Her shot. Oh, big foul. There's Tavy Gale with the rebound. Stolen away from her by Ellie Shirtliff. And it's going to be Gale with the steal. And a timeout called by Coach John Marshall. So Gail with a steal back. So she lost it on a turnover, immediately got it back. Yeah, she, she tends to do that sometimes. Yeah, no, Gail the Pink Panther. And you can see, let's see the replay on that one, Maestro. I think we missed it. He replayed it when we were talking. No, I think he's trying to get the first little bit of that. So he'd have to go back further to see that one. Anyway, so now here's the, here's the tell of the tape. 50 seconds left. The Beavers by 15, most likely will try for the last shot. And if you're Enterprise, you've got to have some pressure, get a steal. They've had some success with the pressure defense and uh, try to get a basket to cut into this lead before the half. Absolutely, and you know what? The one thing you can never, you can always count on, Enterprise will never give up. They're a tournament team. We just saw in the last game, Canab was down by 10. They came back and win by 10. This game is far from over. So here's Sid Gillens. She'll get it to Gale. Gell dribbles out to Carter straight away. Carter back to Jillens. The guards play up at the top. So I think you all will see the last. I think the Beavers will go for the last shot up by 15. 37 seconds left in the half. It's Britland Carter right side to Tavy Gell. And he'll be knocked back forth by Staley. Back to Carter. 
They'll call a travel on Tavy Gale. I oh, think they, they're going to call backcourt. They weren't going to call it until they heard some people you know, calling backcourt, and it, as it should be, Gale. There was oh, no was there was no tip. Okay, I couldn't see that. And there's Gale with the near steal, and it's going to be Enterprise. We talked about it. What Enterprise needed to do is they needed to uh, you know make something happen before the half. There's a bug. Davy Gale picked up off the floor. Here's Staley with the ball. 25 seconds left for Enterprise. Big possession for the Wolves, and Braley Robinson will knock it out of bounds. Robinson doing, playing great this second quarter, comes in with five big points. She, she's making a bit for Timberline and sub of the game. Heck yes, she is. Here's Christensen on the baseline to Robinson, covered by Jillens. Over to Sophie Shirtlift. She goes up over Brown and just powers it up and over. Shirtlift's been the bright spot for the Wolves. Here's Carter on the baseline to Gale. Back to Carter. Carter to Jillens, Jillens on left side. Here's Robinson, 4-3 at the buzzer, no good. Rebound's gonna go to no one. And that'll do it for the first half of play. The Lady Beavers have a 13 point lead. And uh, you know, Pepper, if we take a look at this, that's about where the Beavers would probably better than expected. I would think so. Definitely not what I expected to see in this game at halftime. And uh, the Lady Beavers came out sluggish and you know, they were getting a lot of shots, couldn't make them. But then you know, things turned around and the Enterprise went cold. Beaver started to heat up a little bit. And uh, Lady Beavers in a good position, but I guarantee Coach Jones is gonna take his team into the locker room and they are going to uh, readjust. Okay, it's the, it's the halftime, which means it's the Jones and DeMille Engineering halftime. Supporting our youth and their efforts to develop new talents and passions, paving the way to success. That's Jones and DeMille Engineering. We'll be back. Tony and Dave's Auto Center in Beaver wants to wish the Beavers the best of luck this season. Tony and Dave's Auto Center is an iCar Gold Class facility, the highest designation of training in the auto collision industry. So if your car is damaged in an accident, you can depend on the crew at Tony and Dave's to get your car looking like new. Visit Tony and Dave's Auto Center, 115 North Main Street in Beaver, where they can fix your car inside and out. That's Tony and Dave's Auto Center in Beaver, happy to sponsor the Beavers this year. Custom banking, custom ideas, and custom solutions. At Utah Independent Bank, we specialize in listening to our customers and coming up with creative solutions to fit your personal and business needs. Utah Independent Bank will never sell you services and products you don't want or need. We work with you as a partner to meet your financial goals with convenient technology and local branches in Beaver, Monroe, and Salina. Call the Beaver branch at 435-438-2433. If you're looking for quality insurance from an agent with a personal touch, call White Insurance in Beaver and Parowan. Joe and Ryan White have over 30 years of experience in the insurance business and understand the needs of local residents and businesses. White Insurance is an independent company which allows them to shop around for the best rates in order to save you money on auto, home, life, health, and business insurance for any size company. Give White Insurance a call today for service with a personal touch. 438-5445. That's 438-5445. For gas, snacks, and dependable service on your car or truck, visit Eagles Landing, Flying J, and High Country Chevron in Beaver. Mark Yardley and the staff offer convenience items, groceries, fountain drinks, sandwiches, and other goodies. You'll also find a full line of gifts and souvenirs, as well as your favorite gas and oil products. Stop by both locations at the North I-15 Interchange in Beaver, High Country Chevron, and Eagles Landing, Flying J. Happy to support Beaver High School Sports. Since 1947, Barney Trucking in Salina has built a reputation of unparalleled customer service and satisfaction in the trucking industry. Barney Trucking in Salina is now hiring local drivers. If you're looking for a solid career in the trucking industry that has a positive working environment, join the big blue trucks of Barney Trucking. The job includes benefits, training, retirement, and requires a Class A CDL license and an endorsement for doubles and triples. To apply, go to barneytrucking.com or call 529-4422. That's 529-4422. Welcome back on the Jonesville Engineering Halftime. The Beavers have a great first half, and they have a 13-point lead over the Enterprise Wolves, and 31-18. But I got to tell you, watching the Kanab game, North Summit, North Summit kind of had that in hand. But the Kanab Cowboys came storming back, and this Enterprise team just as capable. Oh, heck yes. I mean, I keep saying heck yes. I got to stop doing that. But <laughs> Enterprise, they are, they're they're not going to back down. It doesn't matter if they're down by 40 points. They're still going to come out and give it their all. And uh, 
this game is very, very far from over. This is the Jones Mill Engineering Halftime. They applaud the team for hard work, dedication, and commitment. They support our youth in our efforts to develop new talents and passions, paving the way to success. That's Jones and DeMille Engineering. Let's take a look at some team stats. First of all, Pepper, 12 to nine. The Beavers you know, take a three point lead going into the first quarter, but in the second, it was just an explosion as they outscore the Wolves 19 to nine. It is, and like we, I talked about before for the break, looking at uh, shooting percentage the first quarter, Enterprise shooting 50%, Lady Beaver shooting 33, and then you'd look at the second quarter and uh, it flipped. Uh, Enterprise just shot 33 and Beaver shot 55. So they have the exact same field goal percentage. Yeah, right now Beaver <laughs> shooting 42, Enterprise shooting 41. It's just a difference in quarters. Yeah, it certainly is. Let's take a look at some other team stats that are important. This is your State Farm Insurance stat check. Well, in a game where, you know, you have a, a 13 point uh, differ differential and they're shooting the same as like, well, what's the difference here? And the difference is definitely rebounds as the Lady Beavers have 14 rebounds, Enterprise only seven. And when you're, when yeah. you have a team cleaning up the boards like that, you can see why, you know, there's a lead in the game. Yes, you can. Also another uh, key stat is steals and turnovers. The Lady Beavers with six steals and Enterprise with three. The Lady Beavers with only four turnovers and six steals. So that's a great stat to have and Enterprise struggling a bit with nine turnovers. So I think rebounding and turnovers is the difference between these two teams right now. Well, and this one's, this one's gonna change. And so the Enterprise Wolves are gonna come back and they're gonna come flying back. It's just a matter of time. And so let's take a look at our individual scoring in the game. Leading all scores is the Beavers, Sydney Gillens, as she had six in the first, five in the second. She has 11 points in the first half. Jillian just did a great job. She didn't she didn't stop shooting and she kept shooting to get those 11 points. Then uh, uh, da uh, Nixon Davis who went out with foul trouble with eight points. Five points apiece for Carter and Braley Robinson. And with the bucket is Brooklyn Crum. Yeah, some good bench production with Crum and Robinson. Seven points off the bench is fantastic. It is and they just came in and you can just see that they, they played very calm and cool, kept their composure. Looking at uh, Enterprise. Sophie Shirtliff, uh, she's doing some great job, done a great job. Seven points all in the second quarter. Ronnie Robinson with four points, uh, Ellie Shirtliff with five, and Kindy Christensen with two. That'll run out the scoring for the first half. So it's the Beavers 31, the Wolves 18. We'll take our final break in the Jones and DeMille injury at halftime. When we come back, we'll have keys to the second half and the second half tip-off sponsored by South Creek Shell. The doctors and medical providers at the Beaver, Milford, and Perwin Medical Clinics would like to thank the local communities for their support. We are excited and pleased to help and support the schools and student athletes in their communities. In addition to sports medicine, we offer full spectrum pediatrics care, including newborn care and well child visits, immunizations, ear tubes, and tonsillectomies, as well as full spectrum obstetrics and gynecology care, including C sections and hysterectomies. We are happy to assist you and your family with all general, acute, and chronic health needs. Good luck to all our athletes. The staff and administration of Beaver Valley Hospital are Beaver High School's biggest supporters. Beaver Valley Hospital takes pride in providing the highest quality health care at the state's lowest prices. New in 2018, Beaver Valley Hospital will be providing orthopedic surgery with Dr. Ben Robinson. The hospital also provides laparoscopic surgeries and maternity services that provide safe deliveries and happy babies. Beaver Valley Hospital also has a full service care center that caters to the elderly loved ones in a home-like environment. Beaver Valley Hospital wishes the Beavers the best of luck during this sports season. Beaver Valley Chevron and Dairy Queen team up to keep you and your vehicle running smoothly. Beaver Valley Chevron is a 24-hour AAA towing service and a repair facility with top quality Chevron gas. The service is first class. You'll get your gas pumped and windshield washed by one of their friendly employees. You'll also appreciate their clean and modern bathrooms and eager beaver touchless car wash. Don't forget to stop by Dairy Queen anytime for a variety of meal deals and irresistible ice cream treats. Visit Beaver Valley Chevron and Dairy Queen at the I-15 South exit in Beaver. For experienced help when buying or selling real estate, Coldwell Banker Advantage of Beaver is a wise choice. Local real estate broker Gary Brown can assist you in residential, commercial, or recreational properties. Call Coldwell Banker Advantage Realty in Beaver, 438-7777. Majestic Financial Services in Beaver is an accounting firm that offers payroll, income tax preparation, and bookkeeping services for individuals and businesses. For an accounting firm you can trust, call Majestic Financial Services in Beaver, 438-7777. Dairy Farmers of America is a proud supporter of Beaver High School. For the very best at cheese products direct from the factory, visit the chalet at DFA Cash Valley Cheese in Beaver. 
They carry a nice selection of cheese, including fresh curd, cheddar, Monterey Jack, Swiss, and Colby. Stop in and check out their wide variety of cheese gift boxes and crafts, too. And they offer shipping. Visit their website at dfamilk.com and click on DFA Mart, and then on the picture of the Beaver store. That's DFA Cash Valley Cheese in Beaver. Mike's Food Town in Beaver is proud to serve Beaver County with a wide selection of items at competitive prices. Mike's Food Town is your friendly hometown grocer and offers top quality custom meat, fresh produce, and local dairy products. The bakery and deli offer fresh baked goods, custom cut deli meats, and more. New in 2018, you can shop online and have your groceries delivered to your home. Check out mikesftn.com for more details. That's mikesftn.com. Try it out. Mike's is proud to support Beaver High School athletic and academic programs. Welcome back, Scott Linkford, Pepper Gale, and we're here on the Mid Utah Radio Sports Network and Local Ten. We want to say we want to give a special shout out to uh, Preston Clark in the Spanish class. Muchas gracias que está está viendo nuestro juego y, y uh, esperamos que ganamos. So just a big shout out to Preston Clark from. Pepper Gale, so si, si puede. Anyway, we're back live, and let's go to the Keys of the Second Half, sponsored by South Creek Shell. Keys to the Second Half are really, it's the basic fundamentals. Handle the ball well, rebound, make every possession count, execute, and above and beyond everything else, don't panic. You gotta keep your composure. Both teams, exact same keys to the second half. For the Enterprise Wolves, they have to make sure and establish that presence. And uh, for the Beavers, they have to continue playing. They lead by 13, so they Enterprise starts in a bit of a hole. 31-18 as we begin third quarter action. That's your Eagles landing High Country Chevron scoreboard. Kenny Christensen as we start third quarter action. On the right side, there's Sophie Shirtliff inside. And gonna be knocked away. Good help defense by Carter. And they're gonna say white ball. They could have called a foul on that one. They, I think it went off Brown, but there might have been a foul as Christian lands on Brown's legs. It was, it was good weak side help by Brown, and then there was then Carter. Carter in the mix as well. So a full court press for the Wolves, and it's gonna go to Carter as the full court press continues. They're gonna press Carter, senior point guard. She's been playing all four years, most of these girls have. Here's Carter. To Gale on the right side. Gale will step in underneath to jo to Davis. Davis goes up, shot up, no good. Rebound going to be taken by Tavy Gale, the Pink Panther, up to Carter. Carter takes a three-point shot. It is up and knocked down. Carter for three, and that is a Eagles Landing High Country Chevron three-pointer. Champs chicken and more at the Eagles Landing. Lead goes to 16. Biggest lead of the game for the Lady Beavers. Here's Shirtlift to Sophie Shirtlift. She'll drive, and uh, Sid Jones knocks it off of Shirtlift's leg. Very fortunate that it stays to the Lady Wolves. And you can see because Shirtliff has had the advantage over Brown in the second quarter, uh -huh. trying to have her drive that lane again. Good help defense by Jillens. Christian inside to Shirtliff. Shirtliff turns, blocked by, by Brown. And the ball's on the floor. It's gonna be a jump ball, so it goes to the Lady Beavers. Man, these officials are just causing me all sorts of trauma. They won't <laughs> get out of my way. I have, you have to look at the monitor when it happens. Yeah, a smart person would do that. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> Here's, here's Brown, I've been doing this so many games this weekend. And here's Carter, she'll break the press by herself. It's a four on two advantage. Jillen's on the corner, she'll dribble back out, no advantage there. And Ellie Shirtliff will pick up a foul as she fouls Sid Jillen's. I believe that'll be her third foul. I've got her for two, Dave. Two fouls, so Statman Dave is the arbiter. Statman Dave is never wrong. Well, I, I trust Statman Dave's well, I'm, stats I'm all the time. I'm rarely right, so I got lucky that time. Here's Gale in the corner to Jillens. Jillens fakes, will drive, and then stolen away by Christensen. Jillens couldn't quite get the rib dribble down, and so Enterprise down 16, 34-18, 6.42 left in the third. Here's Christensen, drives to Robinson. Robinson covered tightly by Jillens. Back up top to Sophie Shirtliff. She's gonna get to Sister Ellie, covered by Gale. Gale takes the screen, turns. Pits over to Robinson. Robinson drives in. Christian with a beautiful, Christian with a beautiful, uh, Kendi Christensen with a beautiful screen. Ronnie Robinson trying to make something happen. It's going to be a foul to Sydney Gillins. And Robinson will go to the free throw line. I think this is her second time at the free throw, oh, first time at the free throw line. Yeah, so Ronnie Robinson will shoot two. Robinson with four first quarter points. Shot is up, no good. Now, believe it or not, that's the first free throw miss of the game out of 10 attempts, 11 attempts. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the two teams were 10 out of 10. I didn't say a word until 
till uh, someone missed one. To avoid the announcer's jinx, second one up and in. So here's Carter, Carter with the ball. Will go past, Christian picks up the foul, just a reach. And that's one that you let go except for it caused Carter to go down. Yeah, she flew about oh, 10 feet across the floor. <laughs> so you, you can't necessarily uh, turn, your, turn your head on that one. Yeah, Christian's first personal foul that I can tell. And here's Carter, she's covered by Shirtliff. Interesting change, Shirtliff covering Carter. Go on the right side to Jillens. Knocked out of bounds off of the Beavers. Ooh, that went off of Jillens, I thought. We'd have to see that I one again. I think you're just listening to something out of your headphones. Oh, no. No, it, I, I thought that went off Jillens. Great defense, though, however, by the yeah. Lady Wolves. Here's Gail with the ball. Has it on the floor. Knocks it out of bounds off Sophie Shirtliff. Heads up by the Pink Panther. Now, when <laughs> all else fails, just throw it out of bounds off the opposing team. <laughs> Here's Gail with the ball to Brown. Brown will go up to the top to Gail. Gail will drive in to for an eight foot scoop shot. No good. There's Davis. Nope. Picked up by Robinson. And the Enterprise Wolves run. Beavers up by 15. Enterprise threatening. Here's Ellie Shirtlift for three. And she knocks one down again. Ellie Shirtlift, the senior, with eight points. Carter goes down to Gail. Gail will go on the baseline inside to Davis. Beautiful setup blocked by Farnsworth. And the Lady Wolves on the run. Here's that momentum we talked about. The Beavers by 12, but Enterprise with some momentum. Now Shirtliff is going to get that back, luckily. Robinson inside, knocked down by Brown, picked up by Shirtliff. Shirtliff drives, kicks out on the side. Here's Kendi Christian, 4-3. That shot no good. But there's Ronnie Robinson, her shot back up and in. Here's the run by the Enterprise Wolves. They have a 6-3 run. Lead is down to 10. Carter goes around. All the players and Nixon Davis can't get it. Tavy Gale, and there'll be a foul on Gale, I believe. Yep, Tavy Gale picks up a foul, the Pink Panther, and it goes back to Enterprise. So Enterprise could cut this lead into single digits. They could, and like I said, like I, I said before the half started, you know, Enterprise, they're going to come back, and if they can get the momentum in their favor, they could definitely make this a run for the money, uh, give the Beavers a run for their money. In comes Brady Robinson at the next dead ball. Kenny Christensen with the ball. It's the Beavers by 10, 34-24, five minutes left in the third. Your Beaver Medical Clinic score update. Here's Shirtlift, dribbles with the left hand. Shirtlift back up to Ellie Shirtlift. Long three-point jumper, no good, rebound to Carter, and Sophie Shirtlift will pick up a foul. Yeah, Britland Carter to skies up and gets that rebound, and uh, that'll be the third team foul for Enterprise. So here it goes. Second personal foul for Sophie Shirtliff and Robinson and Brown out. Carter with the ball, will dribble around. Being followed underneath to Jillens. Jillens on the left side, that's easy. Jillens for two. Uh, Carter doing a good job drawing the defenders to her. Sees Jillens, cut their uh, nice bucket. Lead back to 12, 36-24. Ellie Shirtliff covered by Gale outside the right side. Shirtliff will dribble. Gale all over her. Gale with three fouls. Here's Still with a Gale. <laughs> Gale with a Gale. Still on the left side. Gale underneath to Jillens. Jillens goes up, left hand, no good. And they will call a foul on Ellie Shirtliff. Jillens shoots two. The Pink Panther doing what she does best. Gets the Still, brings it down the floor. Gets it to uh, uh, Jillens. And I believe that's the third foul on Ellie Jillens. It, Ellie, Ellie Shirtliff, it is. So Jillens goes line, shoots two. And Tavy Gale, the Pink Panther, I think that's her fourth foul of the, or excuse me, steal of the game. Here's some substitutions. Ellie Shirtliff comes out. Avery Staley comes in. And also number 12, Allie Hunt will spell Kendi Christensen. First free throw was missed, so the lead stays at 12. 36-24, four minutes left in the third. She knocks down the second one. Sid Jillens already with 14 points in the game. Here's Sophie Shirtliff. She'll dribble up on Davis. Davis with two fouls. <laughs> <laughs> and near a steal, Sophie Shirtliff goes up and will get it back. They'll call a travel, and she actually does do so. So it goes back to the Lady Beavers on the turnover. Hey, and uh, you know, Nixon Davis has gotten several steals during the season, and yeah. you know that you don't typically see the post uh, guarding on a press, and she almost got a steal there. Carter with the ball, covered by Hunt. Carter will come in over to Gale. The trap, not quite there. Staley, Hunt guards the right hands. 
Here's Gill underneath to Davis. Davis grabs it, puts it in. It's Gill to Davis for another bucket. The lead back to 15. Stockton to Malone, and, and it's uh, Davis has got some really difficult passes from Gill and capitalized, makes them work. But how nice is it for a guard to be able to uh, throw that ball to a post? Sophie Charlotte from 19 out, no good. Rebound to Robinson. Robinson will turn, and a foul will be called by Sta on Staley. Great team, great uh, sportsmanship there as Farnsworth um, helps her up. I love it when you see the, mm -hmm. the, the sportsmanship there, and a shout out to uh, Shelby Farnsworth. Great, great sportsmanship. Yep, 3.33 left in the third. It's the Beavers by 15 and the ball. Five team fouls on the Wolves, two on the Beavers. And they're going to take a look, something on the floor. Hopefully it's not another bug. Or teeth or something. That looks might like, be worse. Looks like teeth. Or blood. You have to get the hazmat <laughs> team out here again. Here's Gail with the ball. She's covered by Hunt. She'll go on the left side. Table will turn around. Pick it up. And, oh, stolen by Sophie Shirtliff. Gail, it's a two-on-one break. Over to Hunt. Her shot up and in. So the press works for the Wolves that time. The lead back down to 13. Gail with it. Over to Robinson. Robinson will bring it across. On the corner, here's Jillens. Jillens, 14-foot shot. Up and in. Sydney Jillens willing her team to the lead back to 15, 41-26. Might be one of the key plays of the game. Sponsored by Coldwell Banker. Here's Robinson with the ball. Robinson to Hunt, over to Shirtliff. Shirtliff covered by Davis. Nixon. Have to keep those hands up on the baseline. Now to Staley. Staley out, looking inside for Shirtliff. And really a great pass. Sophie just couldn't find it. I think Sophie may have thought that was a shot because it was so yeah. high. But it was a great pass. And uh, had she caught it, she would have had a really good opportunity for a layup. Yeah, no, it, it really was a great one. 2.42 left in the third. It's the Beavers by 15 and the ball. Full court press continues. There's Gail with it. Gail throws up to Crum. Crum goes on the baseline. And she'll be pushed over. And here's Jillens. Jillens with the ball. Lots of reaching. Here's Crum back to Jones. Jones takes a three-point jumper up and no good. Rebound to Staley. And the whole gym waited for that one. Here's Staley with the ball covered by Gale. To Robinson straight away covered by Jones. Robinson hasn't been able to get free much. Jones stays close on her. And out to Hunt. Now on the left side to Christensen covered by Robinson. Christensen moves. Robinson, Christensen moves over. And she's in a little bit of trouble in the key. Out to Staley. And now Stav Tavy Gale will tie that ball up. And it stays with the Enterprise Wolves. You can't relax with the Pink Panther around. Nah, she's going to get her hands into just about everything. Great defensive pressure by Gail. She's replaced by Carter. And Ellie Shirtliff will check in the game and replace, I believe, number 12. Hunt. Hunt. Ellie yeah. Hunt. Two minutes left in the third. 41-26, Beavers. That's your score update. This score a little higher than the Beavers would prefer. Here's Farnsworth looking inside for Shirtliff. Now inside, here's Staley for two, Avery Staley, ball, and credit Britland Davis knocking that ball out of bounds, but I think it does go off Robinson. It does, and you can see that Ellie Shirtliff was fighting hard inside for that rebound, and Enterprise with an opportunity here under their own basket. 41-26. And it'll be Christensen looking for Robinson. Robinson double teamed, looking inside for Shirtliff, and it'll go out of bounds off the Beavers, goes back to the Wolves. Carter is guarding Shirtlift now. A little bit of a mismatch, as you can see that they were trying to post her up underneath as yeah, well. Still trying to post up Ellie Shirtliff. Here's Christensen. Christensen underneath, looking for Robinson. Top of the key, it's for Ellie Shirtlift. She's got it straight away. Looks over on the right side to Staley, covered by Crum. Staley takes a long three-point jumper, side of the rim, side of the bucket, and it goes to Crum. Beavers still lead by 15 to Carter. Carter on the left side to Robinson. Robinson fakes, drives on the baseline, goes up and blocked away by Robinson. So Robinson blocks Robinson. Now Ronnie brings it down, and she's going to go up with the layup. Ronnie Robinson untouched in for the bucket. Nobody even tried to stop her. Ronnie just went coast to coast, calmly knocks it down. So here's Carter with the ball. Carter on the right side to Crum. On the left side to Jillens. And Lady Beavers might hold for the last shot of the quarter. Oh, dangerous pass. Jillens comes to it. Jillens goes in for eight shot. Her shot up and <laughs> out and then back in. So Jillens moves the lead back to 15. Beautiful shot. And it took a couple spins around the hoop before finally falling through the bottom. So Enterprise needs to make up some ground quickly. This is a great time for the Wolves to do so. Here's Christensen. 
on the corner to Farnsworth. Farnsworth looking for Shirtliff. Back up to Christensen, covered by Robinson. 33 seconds left. Rob Christensen goes in on the baseline. Knocked away by Robinson again. Christensen a little out of sync. She'll get the ball back up to Staley with 23 seconds left, 22 now. So Crum on the defense now to Robinson. Ronnie, the sharpshooter, covered by Jillen. She'll step back with 14 seconds left. Screen coming from Ellie Shirtliff. Now back to Ellie. Ellie straight away. She'll look for Ronnie, covered by Jillens. Five seconds left. Here's Robinson, step back, free throw line, jumpers up, no good. Rebound gonna be taken by Staley, and nothing at the end of the quarter. That's it, the Lady Beavers take two more points away from the Wolves. They led at halftime by 13, now 15, as we go to fourth quarter action. Our team works hard to shape the quality of life wherever we live and work. These values allow our team to be the go-to source for rural entities. For integrity, honesty, and technical expertise, think of Jones and DeMille Engineering. With offices in Richfield, Roosevelt, Price, and Manti, visit jonesanddemille.com or find them on Facebook. Since 1982, Jones and DeMille Engineering, your infrastructure professionals. Service is important on any insurance policy, whether it's auto, home, life, or health insurance. And you can count on your Beaver Area Good Neighbor State Farm agent, Brent Stapley, to give you the best service possible. Whether you have a claim or just need information about insurance, your State Farm agent is there with the Good Neighbor service we're famous for. See State Farm agent Brent Stapley and Beaver for all your insurance needs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call 438-5451, 438-5451. Three down, one to go here at the D Event Center. Who will face the Kanab Cowboys? Right now, the Beavers with a decided advantage, a 15-point lead going into the fourth quarter. But the Enterprise Wolves definitely not out of it. This is a super team and a quality team, and they can outscore the Beavers by 15. Yes, they can. There's a pass stolen away by Christensen right off the bat. Turnover to the Lady Beavers. Here's Christensen. She's looking on the baseline for Robson underneath. Stolen away by Tavy Gale. As, and then stolen back from Gale. No, it's going to be a jump ball. And so it does go as a turnover for the Lady Beavers. Gale doing a good job getting the steal. And then, unfortunately, Enter Enterprise, well, or fortunately for Enterprise, they tie it up to get the possession back. So still down 15, 43-28. Just a reminder, we'll have player of the game sponsored by Mike's Food Town. Robinson with the ball covered by Gale. Yeah, we'll move. Here's Shirtliff for three. Shirtliff shot up, no good. Rebound, gonna be knocked out of bounds by, oh, off of Carter. Goes back to the Lady Wolves. I thought it was off Robinson, but she has a better vantage point than well, we and, do. Well, and Carter's not, didn't complain at all, so I'm guessing, yeah, sometimes you can watch the players and you know if they think it's right or not. Double teaming, here is Robinson, covered by Gale. Gale under heavy pressure. Sophie Shirtliff knocked away by Braley Robinson, and it's Britland Crum with it. She'll get it to Carter. Lots of contact, Carter with the ball. And she'll bring it into the forecourt to Gale. Gale back to Carter. 7-13 left in the game. 43-28. Here's the Pink Panther with the ball. Covered by Christensen. Over to Crum. And the Beavers are working the clock. Here is Carter. Carter back to Crum. And a lot of contact. I'm surprised no calls on that. There's Gale. Now there's the call. And that's 16 fouls on the Wolves. So after this, it is the penalty. It is, and the Lady Beavers, this is exactly what they need to do. They need to burn as much time off the clock as possible. But, but there's two schools of thought, and, I, and I, I tend to favor the other one. When you've got momentum, you keep it going until the game is out of reach. You know, that man Davis is agreeing with you. That's just, that's, I've seen so many, too many stalls do exactly what it's not supposed to do, is stall the offense. Brayley Robinson with the ball in trouble, and that's exactly where Robinson doesn't want to be is down on the corner. But credit Enterprise, it's like herding sheep. They want the, the Beavers. You know, that third defender is the sideline, and then the fourth defender is the corner. So it if is. you're in the corner, you got two sides. You only have to defend two. You do not want to get the ball, in the, especially with Enterprise. They are so fast, and they will trap, like, immediately. That short corner is one of the hardest places to have a thing. And now another foul. Sophie Shirtliff picks it up, and that will, excuse me, yeah, Sophie, that's her third. Gale goes to the line, shoots one and one. First free throws of the game for the Pink Panther. And substitutions coming in the game for Enterprise. Farnsworth and number four, uh, Riley Reber. Yep, Riley Reber. A little break for Robinson. 
and for Staley. So here's Tavy Gale, big free throws for the senior, for the Beavers. Right now it's a 15-point lead. Free throws up and no good. Rebound to Shirtlift. Shirtlift brings it back up. Enterprise needs to score and score quickly. Here's Shirtlift on the side to Reber. Reber back, and there's going to be a foul called. And this might be on Tavy Gale. Yep, Tavy Gale picks up foul number three. That's her game. So here's Kendi Christensen in the game. She'll throw in the ball, and she'll get the ball to Farnsworth. Back to Christensen, covered by Carter. Steps up, 4-3. Christensen knocks it down. That's exactly <laughs> what the Enterprise Wolves need. That's the lead. Cut back down to 12 with six minutes left. Here's Carter over to Jillens. Jillens back up to the top to Carter. Carter will fake, dribble through traffic into the free throw line. She'll go up, shoot it. She is fouled. She'll shoot two. Good thought as she uh, saw the lane, she took it, and she's going to draw a foul on number four, Riley Reber, her first. And now Carter will shoot two. Yeah, Carter will go to the line. Big free throws. It's the Beavers by 12. 43 31, 605 left. That is your Beaver Valley Chevron free throw line score update. Knocks down free throw number one, Britlin Carter. Now with nine points in the game. And she's got another one coming. And here's the free throw up. And it's a good as well. So Britlin Carter with another free throw extends the lead back to 14. Welcome to all of our listeners on the Mid Utah Radio Sports Network. 14 point lead for the Beavers, 45 31. And here's Sophie Shirtlift. She goes in. There's Tavy Gale, the Pink Panther, with the steal over to Jillens on the left side. Jillens will go up. Oh, a hard foul. And Jillens goes to the line. I think Reber did exactly what she needed to do. She did. She prevented the layup. And uh, hey, let's give it some preps out to the Pink Panther. I think that's her fifth or sixth steal of the of the night. And uh, she gets it down. That's her fifth steal. Gets it down to uh, Sydney Jillens. Great teamwork there between the two guards. Shot by Jillens is up and good. So Jillens now with 19 points in the game. 5:49 left. The lead back to 15. This could make it 16. Shot is up and good as well. So Jillens knocks down both free throws. 16-point lead, the biggest since the start of the third quarter. Here's Christensen with the ball, covered by Carter. Christensen steps back and looking across court, trying to find Ellie Shirtliff. Back now does find Ellie. Ellie drives baseline inside to Farnsworth. And oh, Reber can't hold on to it. Goes out of bounds to the Lady Beavers. Got a... We got spirit, yes we do, competition going on between the two student bodies. <laughs> I think they both have quite a lot of spirit. Yes, they do. Here's the Lady Beavers. Taylin Brown down to Gale. Gale drives baseline, 12 foot jumper for Gale, no good. There's Taylin Brown, she'll go up Reber with another foul. Taylin Brown shoots two. Brown doing a good job on the board. She just got the you know baseline shot from Gale, didn't go off. Uh, there's uh, Brown, goes, goes up strong. Yeah. And she's gonna get her opportunity to get two. Now the rebound. The rebounds uh, for the Beavers. We'll have to check stats. That has been the difference in the game. Browns missed free throw, and it'll go one more opportunity in the game. Robinson and Staley back in for Shirtliff and Farnsworth. Three-point shooters in the game now for, although Ellie Shirtliff has knocked down a couple. Uh, Ronnie Robinson, I wouldn't be surprised to see her start heating up here very, sh very shortly. Taylor Brown with a big free throw. Robinson, if I had a three-point shooting contest, I would take on the Beavers, Britland Carter, and on the Wolves, Ronnie Robinson. I'm with you. Here's Staley, drives all the way down, and then she will call Britland Carter with, a, with the ride. That's only four team fouls on the Beavers. 5-12 left in this one. Sophie the, sure. Oh, sorry, go ahead, sorry. The winner takes on the Knab Cowboys tomorrow for the championship. Sophie Shirley did get a good job of, of uh, sealing Davis out to give her the lane on that possession. Here's Christensen looking underneath, trying to find Shirtlift, and does have it for Robinson, and... Tavy Gale might pick up foul number four. And it is Gale's fourth personal foul, so that's a little bit of trouble. And Brooklyn Crumb will come in replacing the Pink Panther. <laughs> that is an aggressive little girl. She <laughs> never stops. No, she and doesn't. Uh, she's, a state leader's, she's a state leader in steals for a reason. And all classifications. And here's Ronnie Robinson, Jillens, Robinson, Puts it up over Jillens. Beautiful for Ronnie Robinson. You give her that kind of a space, she'll make it. 15 point lead. The lead was 17. And Carter goes up. No good. Rebound can be taken. And now it goes off the Lady Beavers. 
And the momentum, there's still plenty of time for the Wolves. So for the Wolves fans, don't despair. Your team down 15, there, there's a chance. There is, and Coach, Coach Marshall telling his team, hey, slow down. You know, what, what are you doing? That's what we talked about, composure. Yeah. You gotta have some discipline. Here's Staley, Staley takes a three-point jumper. That's off, no good. Rebound though to Christensen. Back to Staley, Staley looking for Reb Reber, a good three-point shooter. She drives all the way in, blocked by Davis. And it's gonna be Reber with the rebound out to Robinson. So 434 left, time clicking. Now long, long three-point jumper for Robinson. Oh, and wow. Kendi Christensen with the balancing act. She's on the baseline. And there's a timeout called by Coach Lance Jones. And for us, that means officially Clumber timeout, drive a little, save a lot. We'll be back. When you're in the mood for mouth-watering dishes prepared by the finest chefs in Utah, visit Timberline Inn in Beaver. For a family dinner outing or for a night out with that special someone, experience fine dining for breakfast, lunch, or dinner at Timberline Inn. Timberline also offers catering services for both small groups or large gatherings, and you can't beat their popular lunch and dinner specials offered daily. Timberline Inn is open 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. and located on the South I-15 Interchange in Beaver. Call for catering 438-2474. Tony and Dave's Auto Center in Beaver wants to wish the Beavers the best of luck this season. Tony and Dave's Auto Center is an iCar Gold Class facility, the highest designation of training in the auto collision industry. So if your car is damaged in an accident, you can depend on the crew at Tony. Welcome back, Scott Lanford, Pepper Gale, the maestro, Peter Gale running the show. And we got Statman Dave along to help out. And uh, Dave, can you give us a, a rebound score for these two teams? 19 rebounds for the Beavers and 18 for the Enterprise Wolves. The Wolves have caught up. They were down seven at the half. Yeah, they've stepped it up on the boards. And you can see the intensity. The, the momentum swing has shifted just a little bit to the Wolves. It's exciting stuff. Christensen baseline to Robinson. She knocks down the three just as I predicted. Ronnie Robinson heating up. It's back to a 12-point lead. Full court press. Here's Carter with the ball. Four minutes left in the game. Enterprise fighting for their lives. They would like to play in a or canab for the championship. The winner of this one takes on Kanab. Here's Crum back to Carter. Carter cut by Reber. Reber with the foul, and Carter goes to the free throw line and shoots two. Double bonus for the Be Lady Beavers. It is, you know, 10 fouls on Enterprise. Lady Beavers with five team fouls, still a foul to give. But hey, you know, we talked to, uh, during the break, Lady Beavers yet to score a field goal. Only uh, five points this quarter, all from free throws. These free throws from Carters are huge. Carter knocks down free throw number one. Each one gives the Beavers a little bit of space. And the Wolves will need to score fast and often. I like the substitution of Ellie Shortliff back in the game. She makes things happen. And uh, she reminds me of a player last year that was called Captain Chaos, Lindley White. And uh, Ellie plays the same style. Second free throw missed by Carter. So it's a 13 point lead. Here's Robinson, drives in, kicks out to, oh, the ball knocked away by Gillens. And then it's gonna be Sophie Shirtliff just puts it up and in. Smart by Davis not to pick up the foul. Here's Robinson to Crum. Crum picks up the ball. A lot of contact. And that would have been a, a steal by Christensen as uh, he got the timeout. Boy, was that a timely timeout. We'll keep it here. It was, and uh, Coach Lance Jones, you could see he was, ah, as Coach Marshall definitely thinking on his toes to get that timeout because the Lady Beavers, they need to they need to regroup a little bit here and uh, try to, you know, the Wolves are, are, are storming at them. They need to try to, you know, ward that off. That is what I was talking to you about with the, with the stall. You know, sometimes it just stalls the offense and then you get no buckets in a quarter. And uh, the Wolves with two free threes, one by Kitty Christensen, one by Ronnie Robinson, and a bucket apiece for so Sophie Shirtliff, and then another bucket for Ronnie Robinson. Well, Five points for Robinson in the fourth. And in the game before us, same exact situation. Knab was down by 10 with about 3.30 left, and they came storming back. Yeah. They just chipped away at that lead little by little. There's a lot of time to do that, and if the Lady Beavers don't score in return, uh, it, could, it could be detrimental for them. Yeah, and the, and the Enterprise Wolves, that's exactly what they want as uh, this is a confident senior team, as you've got a, a couple seniors, Christensen, Robinson, Farnsworth, and Shirtliff, who are very qualified and do a great job. So it's gonna be Bradley Robinson, will throw in from our vantage point right in front of us. And she'll get it to Carter. Carter immediately, well, the double team was coming, but Carter faked pass, and Carter with the ball. And then Ellie Shirtliff's gonna knock it out of bounds. Shirtliff just lanky and does a great job. Tavy Gale checking back in the game for Brooklyn Crumb. John Marshall thinks this is the time to roll the dice with the Pink Panther. Up 
by 11 with the ball. Underneath, here's Gale. Gale, three-point jumper, and the Pink Panther knocks one down, and the senior picks a perfect time to knock down a three. First bucket of the game for Gale. Here's Shirtliff over to Staley, and there's Gale's going to tie this one up, and it will be a jump ball. This one will go to the Lady Beavers. So a Gale will pick up the steal, but I think they're going to talk about it. They may change that to a foul. Oh no, coach, coach, the coach got a, a timeout. So coach, coach Lance Jones, he, uh, he, he did the same thing John Marshall just did because I think the, the possession arrow is going to the Lady Beavers. It was, and it, you can see it on the scoreboard over there that it would have been Beavers ball. So quick think you got again in, in, uh, in coach, Lan coach Lance Jones. I have a little bit of twisted tongue right now. <laughs> 317 left in this one, 52-38. And it's the Lady Beavers by 14. And the Enterprise Wolves trying to break into that single digit. But there's been a couple timely buckets. Free throws by Carter and a, and a bucket for Tavy Gale, a three-pointer. And the lead stays at 14, 317 left in this one. As, as we come down to the end of this game, it'll be the Wolves with the ball on their own side of the court. It'll be Christensen with the ball. Here's Christensen. On the baseline to Robinson. Robinson looking inside for Shirtliff. Robinson out to Christensen. Time clicking, 312. Enterprise has to score quickly. Ellie will get the ball over to Christensen. Christensen, three point jumpers up, no good. Rebound going to be taken by Nixon Davis. And Davis gets to Carter. And there will be a foul called on Ellie Shirtliff. That's number four on the senior Ellie Shirtliff. And Britland Carter back to the line. And if you're if you're Enterprise, I don't know if Carter's the one you want to foul as she has only missed one free throw all evening. Six out of seven. And of course now she has to miss both. That's the announcer's jinx. Hey, Dennis and I this morning we we got rid of the of the of the jinx. <laughs> no during, one, during the Miller no, game. No one gets rid of the jinx. Here's the shot by Carter, and it's up and no good. Yeah, well I think you're a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Two fifty eight left in the game. 52-38, 14-point lead for the Lady Beavers. Here's Carter, second free throw. Is up and good. So lead goes back to 15, 53-38. Enterprise trying desperately to break into that 15-point lead. It's been pretty consistent. Staley goes up, knocked down by Robinson, picked up by Gale. Gale ahead of the pack, Robinson there. Gale goes up and her layup up and in. The Pink Panther strikes again. Gale, the only two field goals of this quarter have come from Gale. Shirtliff with a three-point jumper up, no good. Robinson with the rebound, and she'll get it over to Britland Carter. 17-point lead is the biggest of the game. A kicked ball stays with the Lady Beavers, 229. This one now, Enterprise can only, they've got to make all their shots from this point out, down 17 points. They do, and uh, this is the time where every possession counts, I mean, critically, it does, and, and for both teams as well. Gale underneath, going to be kicked away by Kendi Christensen. 2.29 left in the game. 55-38, the Beavers and the Wolves fighting to see who takes on the Kanab Cowboys. Two awesome teams out of Region 18. There's Jones with it. Jones will step back out. The Beavers now will control some clock. I think Enterprise has to start fouling at this point or get some steals inside. And there's a steal right there. Ellie Shirtliff comes up with it. Shirtliff brings it down, down to Robinson, covered by Jones. Robinson will drive on the baseline, and she will go up and is fouled to go to the line and shoot two. Ronnie Robinson desperately trying to make something happen. Great steal by Shirtliff. And then, uh, you know, Robinson sees her. She streaks down the floor, uh, gets the foul. And uh, Ronnie Robinson, though, she's pretty solid from the charity stripe. Yep, trying to cut into that 17-point lead. The Beavers extended that lead in the second quarter, and Enterprise has struggled to make up ground as the Beaver, Beavers have answered all the rallies. Back in is Staley replacing Reber. There's Robinson's second free throw. 210 left in the game. It's a 16-point lead. Robinson can make it 15. Free throws up and good right through the middle. That is now seven points. Here's Robinson over to Carter. Carter will drive up the line. And she'll get it over to Gale. Gale will come across the timeline. Three on one break. Gale over to Gillens from eight. Shot is up and Sydney Gillens for two. A lot of players you'd say pull it back out, but Gillens is money from the baseline and that might do it. 
The Lady Beavers up by 17, a minute 50 left in the game. Gail has done a great job feeding the ball to all of mm -hmm. her teammates tonight. She's been the Stockton, and there's been a couple of Malones, and it's been a lot of fun to watch the teamwork for the Lady Beavers tonight. Christensen drives in, and the, the, the Wolves have to have three-pointers. Ellie Shirtliff, excuse me, Sophie Shirtliff scores a bucket underneath, and here's Gail with it. And, and Gail underneath, and they will get a timeout by Coach John Marshall. And we'll take it as well. Be back for the final of this one. The Lady Beavers look to be headed to state championship after this. Custom banking, custom ideas, and custom solutions. At Utah Independent Bank, we specialize in listening to our customers and coming up with creative solutions to fit your personal and business needs. Utah Independent Bank will never sell you services and products you don't want or need. We work with you as a partner to meet your financial goals with convenient technology and local branches in Beaver, Monroe, and Salina. Call the Beaver branch at 435-438-2433. If you're looking for quality insurance from an agent with a personal touch, call White Insurance in Beaver and Parowan. Joe and Ryan White have over 30 years of experience in the insurance business and understand the needs of local residents and businesses. White Insurance is an independent company which allows them to shop around for the best rates in order to save you money on auto, home, life, health, and business insurance for any size company. Give White Insurance a call today for service with a personal touch. 438-5445. That's 438-5445. Welcome back. Scott Langford, Pepper Gale, Dave Howard, and the maestro, Tudor Gale, and a bunch of really great camera guys. It's a 57-42, 15-point lead. Enterprise in dire need of some steals and three-pointers. And Carter will go in. It's a three-on-one break. She gets down, and ooh, she'll be fouled hard by Sophie Shirtliff. Carter goes to the line and shoots two. Carter's done, a, partner. Carter's done a good job all night. She'll drive in, and you never know if she's going to go up or she's going to dish it off. That time she kept it. She didn't go to the free throw line again. So checking back in the game will be Shelby Farnsworth, the senior, will come back in. Carter's free throws up and in. So Carter knocks down another. She's been a she's a sure candidate for player of the game. When at 23 left, the Beavers back up by 16. They will face the Canab Cowboys. It's a Beaver Canab final. That's that'll be a lot of fun. Another rival situation. And here's Ellie Shirtliff back for the Wolves. Down 17. It's only oh just a mistake by the Wolves and. Uh, We'll see what happens now. Minute 17 left, down 17. The Beavers have this one in hand. And here's Carter on the right side. Carter will drive in, kick over to Gale. Gale will dribble back up herself through the traffic, back up to Carter. No fouls by the Wolves. And so, and they will foul Sidney Gillens. Gillens will pick up two more free throws, and that's five fouls on Ellie Shirtliff. Ah, uh, Shirtliff. She gives her all every single second. She's on the floor and yeah. uh, looks like she's going to be replaced by her sister, Sophie. Can we get a stat line on her from Statman Dave? Yeah. Give Ellie Shirtliff a, a hand as she goes out. Really great, great ball player. Okay, Statman Dave. Shirtliff will finish with eight points, one assist, three defensive rebounds, and two steals. So great game for the senior, Ellie Shirtliff. Uh, Never, like I've said five or six times, always giving her all every second she's on the floor. I'm not so sure I wouldn't give player of the game for the Enterprise Wolves to Ellie Shirtliff. And Gillens goes one out of two from the free throw line. The lead's 18, biggest of the game. Rodney Robinson will come down. And she'll take a hard shot, and she makes it. Rodney uh, Robinson, she's so athletic. She's just got yeah, so she's, much athleticism. She's really great. Here's Carter with the ball, covered by Staley. Carter will split the defenders. Back to Gale. Gail will drive into the lane and then step back out to Gillens. 35 seconds left in the game. 16 point lead. Back over to Gillens. Gillens will drive, step back out to Gail. And the Lady Beavers. And there will be a foul. Tavy Gail goes to the line and shoots two. So the Lady Beavers avenged the loss last year to the Wolves by five in the semifinal matchup. They do, and the loss that they had to Enterprise on Enterprise's home floor um, earlier in the season. The only loss the Lady Beavers had in Region 18. So here's Tavy Gale, the Pink Panther, with a free throw. It's up and good. Tavy big in the fourth quarter. Six points all in the fourth. Oh, seventh point. Sorry. 
Free throw is up and good as well. So eight points for Tavy Gell, and it's an 18-point lead, 20 seconds left. This Enterprise Wolves team has just played great. It's going to go. Carter will get it, trying not to call a foul. And the, ref, the refs are doing a good job not calling it. And Robinson will knock it out of bounds. And they will finally call it on the out-of-bounds line. 3.7 seconds left. 62-44, the Lady Beavers will play for the championship. For the first time since 2012. There's Jones with the ball, and that's it. 62-44, the Lady Beavers will play the Kanab Cowboys for the championship. And what a, what a great game for the Lady Beavers as the Lady Wolves struggle offensively in that one. The Lady Beavers defense held the Wolves down to 44 points. It's a Sunrise Engineering post game coming up. We'll take a short break and be back with the post game. And then we have the first semifinal boys matchup coming up. It's the Leighton Christian Academy Eagles with the Rowan Hall St. Mark's High School Wing Lions. We'll be back. For gas, snacks, and dependable service on your car or truck, visit Eagles Landing, Flying J, and High Country Chevron in Beaver. Mark Yardley and the staff offer convenience items, groceries, fountain drinks, sandwiches, and other goodies. You'll also find a full line of gifts and souvenirs, as well as your favorite gas and oil products. Stop by both locations at the North I-15 Interchange in Beaver, High Country Chevron, and Eagles Landing Flying J, happy to support Beaver High School sports. Since 1947, Barney Trucking in Salina has built a reputation of unparalleled customer service and satisfaction in the trucking industry. Barney Trucking in Salina is now hiring local drivers. If you're looking for a solid career in the trucking industry that has a positive working environment, join the big blue trucks of Barney Trucking. The job includes benefits, training, retirement, and requires a Class A CDL license and an endorsement for doubles and triples. To apply, go to BarneyTrucking.com or call 529-4422. That's 529-4422. For a full-service pharmacy, gifts, cards, medical equipment, and diabetic supplies, visit Beaver Drug and Gift at 98 North Main in Beaver. Beaver Drug and Gift features a full-service pharmacy, offers a wide variety of medical equipment and diabetic supplies. They're also stocked with a wide variety of items, including gift cards, a wide range of gifts, and treats. Enjoy their friendly service, everyday savings, and expert advice from their knowledgeable pharmacists. That's Beaver Drug and Gift in Beaver. The doctors and medical providers at the Beaver, Milford, and Perwin Medical Clinics would like to thank the local communities for their support. We are excited and pleased to help and support the schools and student-athletes in their communities. In addition to sports medicine, we offer full-spectrum pediatrics care, including newborn care and well-child visits, immunizations, ear tubes, and tonsillectomies, as well as full-spectrum obstetrics and gynecology care, including C-sections and hysterectomies. We are happy to assist you and your family with all general, acute, and chronic health needs. Good luck to all our athletes. Welcome back. It's the Sunrise Engineering Post game here. The Beaver Beavers take the win over the the uh, Enterprise Wolves, 62-44, and uh, in a in a very great game for the Lady Beavers. Consistent throughout, they score 12, 19, 12, 19 in that final quarter, and most of them on free throws. And the Lady Beavers will play for the state championship against. The Lady Cowboys of Kanab. This is the Sunrise Engineering Post Game Show, promoting athletic and academic excellence. Sunrise Engineering. Visit us at sunrise-eng.com. So we're happy to, to be along. And uh, Peppers, we take a look at the stats in this one and, and key stats of this game. It, it was basically the, the Lady Beavers' defense kept the shooting of the Enterprise Wolves down. It was, and you know the if you look at like. Uh, uh, I can't get the words out. Field goal percentage. <laughs> a Lady Beaver shot very well tonight, shot 45%. The Enterprise also shot yeah. very well at 41%. But really, I think, in, and you look, rebounds. It's only one point, uh, one rebound discrepancy. The real difference here was turnovers. Enterprise had 19 turnovers. Lady Beavers only eight. And here you go, seven steals for Enterprise and 12 for the Lady Beavers. Yeah, so the defensive intensity, the Lady Beavers, that probably where they excelled the very most. And, uh, and let's take a look at free throws also for both teams. I think that was one of the key stats as well. It was as uh, 
the Lady Beavers shot extremely well from the three point uh, the free throw line, 20 for 26, so only missing 377 percent. But hey, Enterprise was wow. even better than that, six for seven. But hey, they only shot seven free throws, and the Lady Beavers yeah. shot 26 free throws. That's a whole yeah, lot that, of points from the charity stripe. Yeah, that is crazy. Some of those in the fourth quarter. Matter of fact, in the fourth quarter alone, there were three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 free throws. And Britland Carter, she was just fantastic from the free throw line. Nine of her points coming, nine of her 14 points coming from the free throw line. Once again, this is the Sunrise Engineering post game. We got to get going. We got another semifinal coming up. But let's run through the individual scoring, scoring leaders first for the Enterprise Wolves, Ronnie Robinson. So three, three amazing, four amazing seniors for the Wolves. And uh, I have enjoyed thoroughly watching these four girls play throughout the years. Ronnie Robinson leads the Wolves with 18, 11 for Sophie Shirtlift, and she is a sophomore. Eight points for Ellie Shirtlift, the senior, and five points for Kendi Christensen. And, uh, you know, throw in Shelby Farnsworth in the middle has done a great job for four years as well. And uh, she has been <laughs> outstanding. Now on the Beavers' side of the ball, let's cover the individual scoring. Leading all scorers was Sydney Jillens, and she was stone cold tonight. She was, and uh, Sid Jillens, she, she just did such a good job offensively 22 points she knocked down some hard shots did a great job let's take a look at her stat line real quick because i want to cover some stat lines on this there's some pretty amazing things happening um Jillens goes nine for 17 from the field 53 percent and three out of five for free throws she has 22 points in the game um, britlin carter another senior these are all seniors for the beavers but britlin carter shoots two for seven from the field but nine for 11 from the three or from the free throw line she ends up with 14 points of her own. The Pink Panther kicks in, she is number 10, and she, she shoots 40% from the field, three out of four from the free throw line. She has eight points, eight assists, four rebounds, seven steals, and uh, that's a great stat line for the Pink Panther. Um, Nixon Davis was big at the first as the Beavers helped establish that lead, and she was four out of six in the game, and two out of two from the free throw line. She also had three rebounds. Um, Brooklyn Crumb came off the bench. Braley Robinson, at that decisive time when the Beavers are pulling away, she has five points in the second quarter, and then points, two points for Brooklyn Crumb, and a point for Taylin Brown, not to underscore Taylin and Braley's and Brooklyn's defensive offerings for the Wolves. It was just too much Beaver defense for the Enterprise Wolves. It was. I don't think you're going to see more of a team effort in a win than you would see from this team from the Lady Beavers. They played very unselfishly. They played with a lot of intensity. Um, they may have had a good shot and they dished it off to somebody else. Okay, that'll do it from us here from the D Event Center. The girls final is an all Region 18 affair. It's the longtime rivals the Kanab Cowboys and the Beaver Beavers, and that one is going to be amazing. That will happen tomorrow night here at the D Event Center. Right now, we're heading into semifinal action with the boys' teams. It's Roland Hall St. Mark's and Leighton Christian Academy to take on the winner of the late game, which is the Perwin Rams and the Kanab Cowboys. You can catch both these games on local10.tv. And then we can also listen to the last one on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network as the Kanab Cowboys and the Perrin Rams face off. So that'll do it for us for tonight. For Pepper Gale, Dave Howard, and the maestro, Cooter Gale, have a great evening. You've been listening to exciting high school basketball action on South Central Utah sports leaders, Mid-Utah Radio and Centricom Channel 10. This sports broadcast has been brought to you by sports-minded sponsors throughout South Central Utah. Join us next time for more exciting high school basketball action on Centricom Channel 10 and Mid-Utah Radio.